Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 20. This week we're going to take a break from circle theorems to have a look at the very impressive and very useful animation function on autograph. Now the keen-eyed among you will have noticed that I've edited my axes to give myself a bit more room. Uh, to see how I did this, just look back, I think it's about week 6, week 7, something like that. Um, have a look at that video. Right, okay, let's have a look at the first context. Now, I am going to draw myself a straight line. So I'm going to hover up here to the top of the screen to enter equation. I'm going to type in y equals, let's say, 2x plus 1, something like that. Click OK. And there's a straight line. Nothing exciting going on there. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a point on that straight line. So I'm going to hover over here to point mode. Um, I've got my nice little x cursor now, hover over and I'll pop a point on my straight line. Oh, it's moved there. Now that's because my snap settings are at 1. I want a little bit more accuracy, so I'm going to go to 0.1. Now um, I'm just going to go back into select mode. I can move that point up the line by dragging it. That's fine. I can also use the right and left keys on the uh, keyboard. That's fine. But wait a minute, what's going on here? This little lightning bolt has appeared. If I click on that, what I can actually do is use my right and left buttons to move that point up and down. And of course, with that point selected, if I just open up a text box and click OK, then that'll actually keep a track of the coordinates of that point. OK, I can tell you're not sold just yet on the use of this animation function, so let me try it in this context. Next thing, I'm going to produce myself a circle. So I'm in point mode. I'll pop the center here. I'll right click. I'll get a circle of radius, let's say four. Let's have a look at that. Good size. I'm going to quickly, in point mode, pop a point there. And I'll pop a point somewhere around there, something like that. Um, in select mode, I'm going to click to deselect everything. I am going to select the center point, hold down shift select the point on the circumference, right click line segment, do the same thing here, select both those, right click line segment, I'm going to quickly measure this angle, select that point, select that point and select that point, holding down shift all the time, right click and down here I should get angle. I am going to display it to zero decimal places and click OK. Now again, nothing too impressive here, but hello, there's the lightning bolt, click on that. Now again, I can move things up and down, but if I click on animate there and I go to something like automatic repeat and I just click OK there and I click play, oh, that's a bit nicer. That's nice. So that's automatically animating. Oh, what's gone on there? It's measuring the wrong angle again. Double click on that. Allow reflex angle, please. Click OK. Click play. And there we're good to go. Right, but I think the most useful function of the animation uh, comes with transformations. So, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to edit. I'm going to select all. And I'm going to hit delete to clear my page. Right, got to be very quick. Two minutes on the clock. Right, I am going to pop myself a point at zero, zero. Um, oh, I'm going to go back into grid snap settings one here. I'm going to quickly draw myself a square. There we go. Uh, back to select mode, I'll just draw around my square, right click, group shape, looking good. Right, and I'm going to do an enlargement, so I'm going to select that point, I'm going to hold down shift and select the object, right click, and at the bottom of the page, maybe just off your screen is enlargement, scale factor 2, that's fine. Nothing too exciting there, but if I click on my enlarged object, hello, there's my lightning bolt again. If I click on that, I can now dynamically change the scale factor, and that's really nice, especially if you're introducing negative scale factors and fractional scale factors. That's quite a nice little touch to do. And of course, you've still got the flexibility to move anything you like on the page. Still not impressed? Okay, final one. This is my last shot. Um, I'm going to select my enlargement, uh, press delete, gone. Okay, let's do a rotation. So uh, hold down my point, uh, select my object, right click, rotation is there get rid of those stupid construction lines, click OK, right, there's my rotation, but wait a minute, if I click on that, there's my lightning bolt, let's go for an animation, let's again go automatic repeat, let's click OK, let's click play, ah, now that's nice, come on, that's nice, and there's all your different angles of rotation as that shape spins around. Okay, so there's your animation function. We shall return to Circle Theorems next week. Hope everybody's well. Take care. Bye-bye.